So hi everybody, uh, my name is Lisa and this is my uh, eight-year-old chocolate lab, Jezebel. Jezebel, hi baby. About three weeks ago, she tore her right CCL and after consultations with my vet and her physical rehab place, um, some surgeons, I just, myself being a surgical nurse, just did not feel that TPL surgery, TPLO surgery was the right choice for my dog. So I did find a holistic veterinarian out of Royal Oak, Michigan, and we are actually going to start, um, prolo therapy. So let's see if I can get Jezebel to walk. Come here, baby. Now this is three weeks out. Now I have started her on some supplements. Come here, Jez. Come here, Jezzy. So you can see she's got it. Hey, Sloane, can you get Jezebel to walk towards you? Jezzy, go get Sloane. So you can see how she's really only tiptoeing right now just to give herself some balance. Yep, go give her a treat. Go on, Jezzy. So either she will just lift up that leg or hop. Um, yep, she'll barely put any pressure on it. Now, we, like I said, we are three weeks out. So I've kind of kept her a little bit on the lean side. I've decreased her food. Um, and so what we are actually going to do, like I said, we're going to start prolotherapy. Um, I have every hope that we are going to be able to treat her CCL tear without having to do surgery. Yeah, just be careful. And I've got an old bulldog over here as well. But um, so anyways, I wanted to document um, everything that happens and document her treatments and to show everybody that I have full faith that I'm going to be able to treat her CCL tear without surgery. Um, like she is about eight years old, almost eight and a half. Uh, it is right now. It's uh, January. Uh, what is today? Uh, the 26th. I'm gonna give her one more treat. You can give her one more treat. Um, and so if anybody is unfamiliar with prolotherapy, you can look it up online. They've actually been using it in humans for a really long time. Um, the holistic veterinarian that I'm going to be working with, Dr. Simon, he does the prolotherapy and it's a way of injecting a irritant. He also uses ozone therapy and we're going to inject it into um, her right knee where she has that CCL tear. You can even see she actually doesn't, the way she sits, it's out a little bit versus the other side. Um, and what this is going to do is it increases the immune response and it helps to build up the scar tissue faster in that knee, so which is what we need to be able to stabilize that knee out. Um, after a lot of research that I've done on the TPL surgery, it just seems so invasive. Um, doing a whole osteotomy on a torn ligament um, just seems incredible. Um, also, after um, all of the years of doing it since the 90s, the research is coming out that there is a high incidence of osteosarcoma in dogs, up, upwards of 40% after they have the TPL surgery, hold the baby girl, um, as well as um, the possibility of her blowing her other ACL uh, within 18 months. So there's two surgeries, and I just don't feel that it's the best thing for her. So anyways, this is going to be the first of many videos. Um, in terms of supplements, um, the veterinarian, I, she is on, oh, don't mind my vodka there. Eh. Yes, you can have. So this is for Jezebel. It is actually um, hyaluronic acid. If anybody's familiar, you've got it up here. Um, it's naturally found in the body um, and it's in that synovial fluid, which is um, kind of like the fluid that is around your knee joint. So she gets this. The other thing that she gets is, if anybody's not familiar with this, she actually gets, it's right down here, it's called a cytokine. Um, you can look this up as well. I've done so much research on it. Um, cytokines are actually small molecule proteins and they help in the immune response. There's been a lot of research done on these. They actually can use it in cancers where it kind of attacks that tumor. Um, and so Dr. Simon made, it's a special cruciate. So it's kind of a different mixture of different cytokines that he uses. And it's just, you can see it's real easy. Just give by mouth eight drops. It's three times a day per day for the first month. Then it's, you know, the eight drops by mouth just twice a day. And then of course, 
eight drops daily thereafter. Um, this small bottle, there's, oh God, don't drop it. <laughs> um, because this is like a lot of money. Um, this little bottle cost me about $130. Although I didn't think that was terrible because it will probably last me over a month. So I do have her on that. I have her on this. Um, now, Dr. Simon does have his own also blend that he does for the glucosamine and the chondroitin, which I had ordered this before I saw him. So I've just been giving her this. Um, and another thing at the physical therapy place, they did recommend green lipped muscle. So I found this one that does have the green lipped muscle in it as well. Um, this is actually a powder, and it's nice that I can just put a tablespoon over her food. Um, I give her that. And then the other thing that the physical therapy rehab place suggested was this lovely stuff, which is just omega fatty three acids. So, and I just do three pumps over her food. Um, they say this has the most, you know, most amount to be able to more uptake for um, the dog. So um, I know a lot of people were probably in my situation and have freaked out about whether trying to do surgery or not surgery. We want what's best for our animals, our fur babies. Um, and I just had a, a gut reaction to the TPLO surgery. And worst case scenario, if this doesn't work out, we can always do the surgery. But I have every, you know... Um, inclination that I believe it is going to work, especially for my baby girl, right? So like I said, I'm going to be, you know, doing a, a documentation when she starts her therapy. Um, I'm also a Reiki practitioner, so I do do Reiki on her, some range of motion and um, a little bit of massage on her. Um, have not started physical therapy yet, but when I do, I'll do some videos of that as well. And then hopefully we'll be able to see the progression and hopefully by the summer, she'll be good. I am still debating about getting a stiffle joint brace. I've been researching the different braces uh, between ortho pets, my pet's brace, and um, the A-Track Dynamic, which is what I think I'm leaning towards. And um, that one is by Wound Care, I believe. So um, until next time, Jezebel, Jezzy, she's laying in the sun. In Michigan, we barely get any sun in the middle of the winter. Hi, baby girl. I love you. Yes, I do. We're going to make you better, okay? So that you'll be jumping in the water and playing without any pain, which is my hopes. Obviously, I don't want her to get any arthritis in that knee, which is another, you know, big thing about um, that stiffle joint being um, unstable. So this is why I'm also looking at, you know, doing the brace. So um, anyways, this is... Jezebel and Lisa, until next time.